Hey everyone, this is Battery Blade and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to review the EV Dance vehicle to load adapter. We're even going to compare it to the official Kia EV6 vehicle to load adapter, see which one is better, and let's jump into the action by testing this adapter out. Now let's test out this far smaller EV Dance adapter, see if it can work. So the way this adapter works is you just plug it right in. It does come with an instruction manual, but I don't think I need to read that. Definitely better than that. It locks in. You can see the charge port is flashing like that. That means the power is active, I believe. And now let's take a look at the dashboard. Inside, it does say that it is transferring vehicle to load power. You can adjust the settings on this screen by using those buttons right there to determine when your car will shut off. Let's try to plug in my Chevrolet Bolt and see if we can charge it at the full 1.8 kilowatts that the adapter can handle. Let's see if the small but mighty EV Dance adapter can actually handle it. Now let's plug in our charger cord to see if our electric vehicle Kia EV6 can charge our Chevrolet Bolt. Okay, so it plugs in nicely. Let's see if my bolt will accept the power and if it actually is grounded enough for the EV to accept it. I'm not sure how the grounding works when there, there, there is no ground attached to the electric vehicle, so I'm sure it can trick it somehow, but let's see if it works. Now with the Chevrolet Bolt and some other electric vehicles, you need to make sure that you change the uh, amperage settings from eight amps all the way up to 12, so that way you can get the full power out of this adapter. Now, let's see, is my bolt successfully charging? So the first attempt to charge our bolt says the charging was unsuccessful. Not sure why. Let's check out the Kia to see if there's a reason. No errors on the Kia EV6's screen, which means the vehicle to load is working just fine. So we have our Tesla mobile connector here, just to make sure that it is the adapter's fault that it's not properly grounded and not the charging cord that we were using, because we want to be thorough. And now let's try to plug it into the bolt. The bolt says that charging is unsuccessful, which means that the adapter is not grounded properly as that is what it means on the Tesla mobile connector when it has one flashing light like that. The EV6 says it's providing power properly. See that? And then over here, it still says transferring vehicle to load. Now I'm going to show you using the Tesla's diagnostics and just try to plug the mobile connector into the Tesla to show you. Our connector is getting provided power from our EV6 because the button works properly to open the charge port. Means we're getting power. Now if we plug it in, look at the Tesla screen. It's charging stopped. And then this is the error code it gives us. And then this is the troubleshooting message. So what this means is that this adapter, even though it works great vehicle to load, it does not properly uh, ground electric vehicle charging equipment, which means you cannot charge other electric vehicles on the side of the road with it. Let's see if the official Kia EV6 adapter can properly charge electric vehicles, or if the EV6 itself can't charge electric vehicles. But I do want you all to keep in mind, this adapter, brand new, costs $674 on the Kia EV6 website. And this adapter, even though it has more limited functionality, it is a lot smaller and it is only $80 after using code BLADE40 for $40 off. But check this out though. It is kind of a pain to pull this off. So what you do to turn this adapter on, that one doesn't have any buttons. This one has a button, you press that to turn it on. This light turns green, starts that. Then you can plug in your charger down here. So this adapter is massive compared to the EV Dance one. Let's see if the Tesla will let us charge. You can see right here on the Tesla, it turned green. And now on the screen, it says it's charging, which means that the EV Dance adapter 
doesn't properly charge. I hope you're enjoying this honest review so far, so that way you know if you should buy this EV Dance vehicle to load adapter. Um, but yeah, so if you want to use it to charge other electric vehicles on the side of the road, unfortunately, you're going to have to spend $600 on the original Kia EV6 vehicle to load adapter, the official one. Is this one for $80 does not do it. Although it does work with charging stuff like your refrigerators, keeping them powered during a power outage, which by itself though, I still would recommend buying it for that because this adapter is a lot smaller than the other one and it costs a lot less, like one sixth of the price and it can do about 90% of the same features. I'm so far liking this adapter. Forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions about this adapter before buying it. Make sure you ask me so, and I will test it out for you because I do not want to recommend a product that isn't properly tested. Uh, I hope that uh, this video can help you because there are lots of third party uh, adapters on the market right now. And um, even though this EV Dance one can't charge other electric vehicles, I'm sure there's probably other third party adapters that can't charge other electric vehicles too. And they're just selling them to uh, customers without warning people. So I think that this video was important to make and that it highlights that um, third party adapters, make sure you watch some content on it and that it can do the features you want it to. Um, but I do like this adapter, but not for charging other electric vehicles. Now we're gonna do some yard work using our EV Dance vehicle to load adapter. Let's see how much power this leaf blower draws. And this is what the leaf blower's power looks like inside the car. All we gotta do is plug it in. Then it locks, the says, starts moving back and forth, means we're ready to use the leaf blower. The adapter does not feel warm at all, so it can easily handle 1.3 kilowatts worth of power. This has been the EV Dance vehicle to load adapter. It definitely has some flaws like the lack of grounding, but it still does work great with yard equipment or keeping uh, some of your home appliances powered during a power outage. Uh, definitely no problems using leaf blowers or anything like that. Uh, I was kind of worried that it might be too much power to start up, but adapter handles it just fine. So I think it's kind of a funny concept to drive your uh, nice car all around your yard to do it, but you definitely could. And I see that it could be useful. So this adapter, it's only $80, much smaller than the original one. I like a lot of stuff about it. Personally, if you don't have the official one already, it's probably worth buying, but just keep in mind that you can't save other electric vehicles with that. And I did warn you about that. Um, it's also not really as nice of quality because it's just all plasticky compared to the official one for $674. They at least gave it a metal latch. But um, so I, I do kind of like this adapter. Thanks for uh, sending me it, EV Dance. And if you're interested in getting your own, the link is in my description. This has been Battery Blade. I really appreciate everyone who watched the EV Dance vehicle to load review I just did. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time in another video. Goodbye.